Who goes there? It is I, Queen Hannah, from the castle of the Ames Free Library. And I, Queen Alicia. And do not forget J.K. Growling, queen of all library bears. We come bearing news of the Ames Free Library's summer reading program for kids. Our theme this year is A Midsummer Night's Read. And we've got so many dreamy events and incentives planned for you. As soon as school lets out on Wednesday, June 14th, you can sign up for our annual Read and Bead program. Read and Bead is a self-paced, non-competitive program. This means that you don't have to compare yourself to anybody else. You just read for fun. First, you'll need to create an online account using Read Squared, which you can find on the library's website. A grown-up can help you do this part at home, or you can visit the library to ask for help. Then, you keep track of how much time you spend reading. For every 15 minutes, you'll earn 15 points, which can be used to buy a bead in the prize store. But there's not just one kind of bead. We'll have colorful beads, star beads, glitter beads, sea glass beads, glow-in-the-dark beads, glow-in-the-dark skull beads, and more. They're all worth a different amount of points. The cooler the bead, the more minutes you'll need to read. We'll also have animal beads to choose from, including rabbits, seals, bats, turtles, and elephants. Our animal beads all represent a brand new way you can spend your reading points this summer. For the first time ever, we've added a donation component. Supported by the friends of the Ames Free Library, we have symbolically adopted five animals through the World Wildlife Fund. The money from the library's purchase will go towards creating a safer world for wildlife, protecting amazing places, and building a future where people live in harmony with nature. We have five amazing stuffed animal plushies and five official adoption certificates to give away. This year, for every 270 minutes you spend reading, you can choose to trade in those points for a raffle ticket. You'll need to select a raffle ticket in the prize store instead of spending your points on any of the other bead designs. But with every raffle ticket, you'll also get a cool sparkly red heart bead to show how much you care about our planet. At the end of the summer, we'll choose five lucky raffle winners who will get to adopt a plush animal and take it home with them along with their adoption certificate. You can put your raffle tickets toward an Arctic hare, a harbor seal, a vampire bat, sea turtle hatchlings, or an African elephant calf. And even if you don't win the plushie, you'll still have the satisfaction of knowing that these animals are doing better in the wild because of you. It's a good idea to read for at least 20 minutes every day to help you rack up those points. And remember, you can read anything. A book, an ebook, a magazine, a graphic novel, any format counts. You can include the time you spend listening to an audiobook, listening to someone read to you, attending one of our story times or other reading programs, or reading aloud to someone else. You'll log your minutes and choose how you want to spend your points at home, making your selections in the Read Squared store. Then, when it's time to collect your prizes, come and see us at the library. The first day you can pick up prizes is on the first official day of summer, Wednesday, June 21st. We'll also be having a kickoff party on that day with bubbles, chalk, wand games, a special choose-your-own-adventure story time, and crafts. But wait, there's more. Remember those dreamy events we promised? In July and August, you can join us for Word Wizards, the perfect program for aspiring young authors. We'll decorate journals, write with magic wand pencils, and play imaginative storytelling games. Or maybe you're more of a mad scientist? If so, register for Alchemy 101, where you'll defy the laws of nature with mystery STEM activities. We'll be creating cardboard castles for your pets, searching for dragon eggs in the garden, and building fairy tale towers with blocks. You can even practice your reading skills by reading aloud to a therapy unicorn. Okay, okay, they're actually therapy dogs, but Callie and Laddie, our two Angolian shepherd friends, might as well be unicorns. They're pretty amazing. Speaking of amazing, have you ever been to one of our family garden shows? These shows are made possible with support from the Northeastern Savings Bank. They'll take place every Monday night in July and August. Bring your picnic blanket and groove to live music. 
meet new reptile friends, learn to drum, be wowed by dramatic juggling feats, witness a rocket launch, and more. We're also hosting best-selling author and illustrator Kevin Sherry on July 17th, funded in part by the Easton Cultural Council. He'll be visiting us all the way from Maryland. Kevin will read from his books, play guitar, start a marionette dance party, and show off his giant paper mache creature heads. You won't want to miss him. These shows are completely free and everyone is welcome. Miss Hannah, I can't believe you told them about Kevin Sherry. I wanted to be the one to tell them about Kevin Sherry. Do you really want to fight about it? Well, I was going to suggest a sword fight duel to the death. But you're right. Violence is never the answer. To settle the score, should we thumb wrestle instead? Okay. Here we go. One, two, three, four. I declare a thumb war. Five, six, seven, eight. Open up the battle gates. Oh, no. <laughs> Though her thumb be little, she is fierce. Well, my queen, it seems you've won the honor of delivering the final address to the kingdom. For books? Peace and magic? Check out the summer reading program at the Ames Free Library. Ta-da! <laughs>